Oh, Hello, hi, Chris. Chris. Hello, lads. Oh, hi. You all right? Listen, I want some changes in the show this week. I want big fight sequences, car chases, lots of action. No, I'm sorry, Chris. You know we can't encourage violence on this program. OK, no violence. What about violins? Yeah, violins shouldn't be a problem. Hey, I didn't know you played. I don't. Look, that's what you do if you're attacked by a highly trained uh, musician. Disarm him of his instrument. Hey, look, a dangerous camera assailant. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, ah. no, Chris, now look what you've done. Don't worry, it was all a bit of a stunt. It was highly choreographed. No one got hurt. <laughs> Should we go and do stuff then? Go on, then. All right, then. All right, mate. All right, come on, stand up now. I'll have a cup of tea. Come on, all right. Welcome to an action-packed Transmission Impossible. I'm really looking forward to it, aren't you, Simon? Yes, I am, but I'm not Simon today. No, today I'm using a stunt name. Great idea. What's your stunt name? Nuts Tank Noodle! Hey! hey. <laughs> Nuts Tank Noodle, that sounds great. So what's your stunt name, Trev? Steven. No, 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 you can't be Stephen. You've got, you've got to have a name that makes you sound like you're crazy, as if you've got a screw loose or something. All right, then, uh, Michael Jackson. No! Chris Evans. No, 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 oh, forget right. about it. Mitch, oh. or should I say, Mad Dog Mitch. Mad Dog Mitch. Tell us what it's all about. Mad Dog or Crazy Cat. Well, anyway, with the show full of great stunts this evening, in true dangerous investigative style, we find out what you think about television. The worrying world of hair gel is explained in how it works. Dominic and Daniel face another artistic dilemma in Art Forum. And then there'll be more undercover work to see if the truth is out there in the X-Files. And then the post office introduced the all-new mobile letterbox. And it's first past the post in this first class piece of film. Ah, yes! Welcome back to the action with my stunt partner, Nuts Tank Noodles. Ah. And me, Frank Foster Firewind. Yeah, that's not a name. That's a dictionary. OK, well, now let's get on with the action, because now me and Nuts are going to run the gauntlet of danger in a stunt-filled chase from here to the BBC car park, and we'll it, be risking life and limb. It's either that, or we face our greatest ever fear. He's out the hall. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. about the stunt business. <laughs> yeah. You see, let me explain. You see, I stayed well back and very, very calm. That's how I avoided getting injured. Uh. Yeah, well, avoid this. Oh! And now it's time to go out and about and ask the question, do we watch too much television? Television? Well, I must admit, I do enjoy watching the bill. Yes, it's a very accurate reflection of life on the force. It's true. We do all call each other by our first names. There's a Bill, Ted, Mary, none of this PC so-and-so. And back at the station, there's always a lovely pot of tea on the go. <laughs> Look, I'm a very busy man. I don't have time to watch television. Let's all just stick to what we're good at, knuckle down and shut up, eh? Look, I may not have what it takes to present a TV game show, but I can produce a cracking report on the use of aluminium casings for automatic door mechanisms. All right? Thank you, goodbye. Television, eh? Yes, came across it the other day. 
couldn't believe it. Moving images transmitted through the air onto a small screen in your living room. Wonderful. I'm sure it'll catch on. Well done. Welcome back to more action. Now, you'll be pleased to know we've managed to get rid of Tony, and uh, the cleaning lady doesn't seem to be around either at the moment. Now, remember, we're trained stuntmen, and we're going to try and cross this slippy floor. Don't try this at home. Oi! Get off my wet floor, or I'll give you a clip round the ear. Quick, Simon. I'm not Simon, I'm not. Quick, nuts. It's time for another stunt field getaway. Go! So now you better watch this. Yeah, and you better watch out. How it works. An A to Z of explanation. Q. Q is for quiff. A quiff is a hairstyle which appears to defy gravity, where the hair is brushed upwards in front. Here's how it works. Some of the biggest and most successful quiffs in history can be seen on the heads of Misery pop star Morrissey, that bloke out of the Stray Cats, and Michael Heseltine. Unsuccessful attempts at quiffs can be seen on the heads of that bloke out of the Human League, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, and the pop singer Gabrielle. The secret of a successful quiff is in the ability to make the hair rise up and forward so big and high that it looks like a hat. To create this stunning effect, the person must in fact wear a quiff-shaped hat in bed while they sleep. Before going to bed at night, the hopeful quiff maker should comb the front of his hair up and over three carrots, which he has previously stuck to the top of his forehead. Gently brush his hair all over with the whites of two eggs, and finally put the quiff-shaped hat on his head, allowing the quiff to set overnight. On removing the hat in the morning, the wearer should be displaying a fine quiff and is able to begin his day smooth-talking the ladies. And that's how it works. Oh, tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Hello, I'm Hello. Dominic Bell Geddes. And I'm Daniel Cakebread. And this is Art Forum. Now today, we're looking at photography versus painting. Which is the best? The camera can be of great use to the artist, enabling one to catch details more quickly and with greater fidelity than the eye or the hand. Oh, Imagine, uh, if you will, a day at the Grand Prix. You're standing there, mm. the cars whiz by, mm. you click your camera, and voila! <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> now imagine the same scene if you had to paint it. Okay. You're there with your brush poised and voila! <laughs> oh, but you're playing at your furry <laughs> freak! Uh, I was demonstrating the uh, benefits of photography over painting. Oh, right, of course, yes. Well, of course, a camera can catch details more quickly and, and with a greater fidelity than the hand or the eye. Yes. See you later, mate. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> Who is he? I have no idea. Now, oh. now, where was I, Dominic? About six inches to your left. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, as we were saying, which is best? 
painting or photography. The only way to settle this debate mm. is with the help of our special guest. So please welcome the greatest photographer in the world, Lord Litchfield. Oh, Come my lord. Hi, my lord. Hello, welcome. Hello, my lord. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, my lord. Oh. Yeah. Wait, yes, yes, you are. You're the one with the poncy hair, Lord Litchfield. No, yeah. no, no, I'm Terry O'Neill. Uh, yes, yeah. so, uh, so um, uh, uh, Neil O'Terry, do you know anything about photography? A little. Oh, good, because we'd like you to photograph a model while Dominic here paints a model. Yes, let's start. No, 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 Dominic, no, no, not that kind of a model. Oh, okay. No, we've got, a, we've got a proper model, yes. We've got Charlene from Texas. Oh, I love her. Oh, good. Come on in, Charlene. Hi there, sorry I'm a bit late, I'm a bit held up, but I'm here now. Now what we'd like you to do, Lord Terry, is to take some photographs of Charlene while Dominic here paints our next model. Please welcome Gabby Roslin from Whatever You Want. Oh good, I love it. Yes. I love working with models from Whatever You Want. Oh, yes. hi boys. You I get ready to there. paint, okay. you get ready to take the photographs okay. and begin. Now oh, I'm yeah. going to oh. it I'm really going to express oh. myself. Oh. 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 Stop, stop everybody, stop. Oh. So, Lord right. Snooty, have you taken a lovely photograph of Charlene? I think so, see what you think. Oh, well, let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh. Oh, what do you think, Charlene? I think it's absolutely Ooh. wonderful. Oh, marvellous. And Dominic, have you painted a lovely portrait of Gabby? Well, well, of course I have, yes, Daniel. Oh, good. Well, let's see then. We need to prove that painting is the true art. Oh, oh no, I don't want to. Oh, no. oh, please. Oh, come on. 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 Oh, all right. There we are. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So. Well done, you two. Okay. Oh dear. Thank you very much. You made me look so stupid. My name is Lincoln Eggs. And I'm his close friend. Together we've been working on a top secret research project known as... The Eggs Files. Based on the findings of this report, we're here to give... Advice. advice. You may have bought one of these, hoping to win a prize. It's a can of pop. You may have bought a packet of crisps, offering a cash reward. Or even a bag of sweets. But look carefully at the small print. No purchase necessary. What does that mean? It means you don't have to buy them. Ha! Try taking them for nothing from the shop. You'll be banged up in a prison hellhole, never to see daylight again. They say you don't have to steal. If you send them your name and address, they will open a packet for you. Huh? Do you really want a strange faceless bureaucrat opening your crisps? Drinking your pop? They've got your address. Now they've got your sweets. Who really is the winner? Not you. Getting the picture? Want some advice? You bet your bottom you do, and we're here to give it. Take a tip from us. Stay, Stay in your homes. Welcome back to even more action, and now our last stunt involves a really big car chase. Does it? Yeah, I've just seen Des Lyman get into that car over there. I want his autograph. Oh, me too. Des, 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 Des Wade. Des, 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 Happy now, Chris? Yeah, great stuff, lads. Now the show's over, we can have a bit of fun. Let's do some fighting. No, no, Chris, we don't want to fight you, all right? Chris, that's no way for an editor to behave. OK, what about wrestling, arm wrestling, no. pushing, shoving, no. sumo, no. No. hopscotch, moving statues, no. dancing around in the ring? Hello, my name's Reg Gilman. Come and join me fishing for fun. I think this will more than justify the money I forked out for the licence this morning. Quality drama, see? And no adverts either. Bye for now. <laughs> 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 